Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we got a beautiful day in Northern Ontario. Uh, it's not too cold, not too hot. Uh, it's a perfect day to go walking and find some rabbits. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. It's uh, the beginning of February. You know, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of not really a time that you would think to go hunting, but up here in Ontario, uh, we have a rabbit season, and it goes from uh, September 15th to March 31st. Uh, so you're able to go uh, if you're willing and motivated enough to walk through all this thick snow and chase some bunny trails and see if you could uh, see if you could harvest some and bring them home for, for the stew pot. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I got my 17 HMR with me. I prefer to, to use a rim fire. Uh, I don't like getting pellets in the meat. So if you get a good clean headshot, uh, you know, you don't damage any meat. So this is a perfect caliber. I'm running some, uh, uh, some Horn Hornady VMAX uh, out of it. and. Yeah, so we're just going to uh, follow some trails and see if we can get some bunnies today. Just figured I'd take a quick second just to uh, just to show you guys exactly what to look for. So right here, this is a spot where the rabbits have just been, just been going to town. There's tracks everywhere, all kinds of trails forking off in different directions. This is exactly what you want to look for. This tells you that there's lots of rabbits in the area. And if you keep following all these little side trails, Eventually you're going to run into one. Um, so I'm hunting these uh, these pine trees here. They're uh, kind of middle growth pine trees. Uh, they kind of like spots like this too where they could eat all the pine needles. Um, so I'll always look for rabbits kind of underneath low hanging pine trees like that. Uh, so we're actually going to be going in this direction now. I'm just going to keep following this rabbit trail and I'm sure eventually it's going to, it's going to lead us to one. Right on. So much snow. So it's about uh, five minutes into the hunt and I just kind of walked in uh, not too far off the trail and saw this guy sitting outside of his little snow cave. So it's a beautiful snowshoe hare. Uh, he's pretty big actually. Um, nice and white, pretty camoed, but you know, all you got to do is just look for their eye and you know, they can be they can be fairly easy to see. So I shot him with my 17 HMR. Uh, yeah. Just walking along here and I figured I'd show you guys kind of what I'm looking for here. So right here there's a little uh, little rabbit trail going into the thick pines over there. So I kind of walk around until I find stuff like that. But right here there's literally rabbit trails intersecting absolutely everywhere. But I'm going to go follow this trail because there's a nice set of moose tracks right here. So that's going to kind of make my walk a little bit easier. So I'm just going to keep walking and keep looking at the bases of the pines until I see a uh, run into a rabbit that's looking right back at me. Just following that uh, moose trail. As you can see there's a nice rabbit sitting underneath the slash pile there so try to get a shot on him. Sweet, it's rabbit number two. Hey guys, well that's gonna be it for today. Um, gave it a good few hours, uh, jumped a couple more, but couldn't get a good shot on camera and couldn't get a good shot in general. Um, but we got two rabbits, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna be cooking those up for dinner tonight, probably make a nice stew with those. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it was a beautiful day, uh, did lots of walking. I'm gonna be out here doing it again soon. We're gonna get lots of snow tomorrow though, so might have to do it maybe next week or something. We'll be sure to pack the camera along and thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and 
I'm gonna get out and do it again. So uh, leave a like, comment, even subscribe, because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of content in the future. So thanks for watching and have a good one.